What I'm gonna talk about now is some of the research we've done with this and the lessons we've learned. And I've explained some of those stories as we've gone through to this point. But where we started, and, and I think where we've had a very, very unique ability to do this is, if you look at most studies in an exercise science lab, they're usually eight to 12 weeks. Does anybody know why? Exactly, so we're relying on these college students, we have to enroll them, eight to 12 weeks, and we try to make these grand conclusions about what that means over longer than that, and it doesn't work. We were able to get a team over entire competitive seasons, the whole season, from preseason to championship, all right? That is a hard thing to do, and when you do that, you're really getting true, real-world data now, all right? And what we saw was that that to the kind of the take home here, over the course of a season when we started doing this, we saw significant declines in performance by the end. We saw changes in body mass. But what started to happen is we started to be able to identify why, when, and where that was occurring in order to fix it in future years. But what, was, what we were seeing is really pretty significant perturbations in the endocrine and biochemical side of how they were responding. So we're able to track where this stress was occurring. And what we found was almost all of it initially occurred in preseason. And they never recovered from it. College fall sports have a two-week preseason. It's not a preseason, that's a warm-up. But what coaches try to do, you got new players coming in, especially with the transfer portal now. Right, so what they'll do is they go, okay, we gotta get ready as fast as possible. So they try to fit as much training into those two weeks as they can, and it crushes the athletes because there's no ramp up to it. And so we started to look at this, and finally we were able to start quantifying some things. And I was able to say to the coach at one point, I said, hey, um, would you play nine games in 14 days? Oh, God, no. Well, you did. Like the equivalent training load over that 14 days was nine games. Right, how do we change this? So again, being able to use the data to back this up, but what we saw was that the stress of the season, as soon as competition starts, that's just going to exacerbate this. Even though training load dropped, even though we were getting more recovery, we had never fully recovered from that preseason. And so this really allowed us to look at how this is structured over the course of that year in order to get this. And so, and this, again, despite ener energy expenditure actually decreasing over the course of the season because we were given a more recovery, it took all season to do this. And so what we started to realize is those that win the championships are really the ones with the least attrition.